Okay, so let's say you want to add a drawer to your application. Pretty simple as well. As you can see inside the scaffold, we have these options for drawer and end drawer. So in this case, drawer will be to the left and end drawer will be coming from the right. We'll start with drawer. Drawer, you can put anything you want. It's just basically a widget. So in this case, for us to just see what it will look like, I'll just put a container. Then inside the container, I'll say uh, the height is the screen height, which I defined right there. This is the screen height from Media Query. Then I'll say width. Uh, width, usually drawers don't cover the whole width, so I'll say uh, maybe it covers 70% of the width. Then for you to see clearly, that it's the drawer i'll add a color then i'll add it to black just to match the theme for our application so there it is so once i reload like this you see the option there then once i click that you can see uh, there's the drawer which comes out pretty nicely so it's pretty simple like that but this icon only comes out because i did not put any leading object inside my app bar so you have to understand that if you don't put any leading object inside your app bar it will create or it will auto imply that leading object but let's say i put a leading object here let's say i had put an icon right then i had put maybe my own icon for menu uh, like this for example right now, once I do this, you can see that it will stay there because it's still the, the icon for menu. But once I click it, as you can see, nothing is coming up. It will only appear if I drag the screen like that. But when I click, uh, you it won't appear because now I have to program it to show the drawer programmatically when I click this icon. So. In that case, what you need to do is now wrap this widget inside an inkwell. Then I'll say inkwell here, right? Like this. Now, once I say inkwell, inkwell is an untap option, right? And I'll just say this, like this. Obviously, here I can then put this const here. Okay, so once I do this inside here, we now want to program it such that it then shows it then shows the drawer once I click on this icon, which is wrapped inside the inkwell. Now, for me to do this, what I need to do is I would need a key inside the scaffold, and I'll just add this key globally as a variable. Then, when I add it globally as a variable. I'll then define it. So the very first steps is to add this global variable, which will be the key inside my class here. I'll just call it key like this, or let's just say key. So this is the key for the scaffold, right, which has a scaffold state. So it keeps the state of the scaffold so such that you can know whether the drawer is open or whether the drawer is not and for other things that are, or other object widgets that are defined inside the scaffold. Then here inside the scaffold, I'll define that key, we just call it like this. Now, once I do this and reload, so now that I have this key, all that I need to do is inside this on tab function, I can just call this key, call the state, scaffold state, then open the drawer from there. So the key I'll just say key dot then current state to get the current state of the scaffold then dot open the draw I'll just terminate there then it's as simple as that such so once I reload when I click you see to open the draw so it's as simple as that and this is how you add a draw to your application now let's say you want to add it to the right and not to the left instead of saying drawer here in this case like we defined here you say end 
draw and the end draw basically will appear on the right instead of the left so obviously here you might be confused because it's showing uh, it's it's showing this icon and I still have this uh, notice that I put end draw here if I click on the icon here because it has no actions obviously to show that but in the same way we did for the draw if you put your own actions you would have to define the state and the key in this case if I click this nothing will show because I'm opening the drawer the drawer comes out on the left if I want to open the end drawer I'll say open and draw like this then once I reload if I click on this it will open the end drawer obviously coming from the left clicking the left then showing on the right is kind of a, uh, you know it's kind of tricky but this is how you can open your end drawer and you can slide it like that if I put actions in the same way these actions inside your app bar then you would have to define and wrap your icon inside an inkwell then programmatically open the drawer or open it to your specifications based on what you want it to do or how you want it to come out so basically this is it inside your drawer you can put as many things that you want you can put a children and you put a column uh, for example let's just say um, then in this column you can put uh, text then you can say like this is the drawer obviously this is just a rough sketch but in in a basic concept you would need uh, you would obviously need something more defined but I'm pretty sure you will learn that as time goes okay so I will say colors dot white so I put this text inside here and uh, I'll just put const here so that you know I can define everything inside the column as a constant then I put it and I put the color white I'll reload and uh, okay in this case you won't be able to see it you might see something there like a white if it's on Android you'll be able to see it but on iOS the draw will be so high up because you know, it's not necessarily in a safe uh, safe area so possibly this draw I'll wrap it inside a safe area then once I do this you can see there it comes out this is the draw so you can put as many options as you want you can also put so many list tiles you can put uh, many implementations here and just work around on what how you want uh, your draw to look and what you want to add on there.